A huge shout out to my awesome tier 3 members, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, and Matthew Hall. Thank you very much for your support. It means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulus that I Where's UK mod? So I just dropped everything off from last episode. Uh, things are starting to look up. <laughs> I just need to go sell a few things to the trader and see if he doesn't have perhaps some shotgun ammo. Although I doubt he actually has any. I can't, I can't remember if I bought on day 13. Oh no, it's day 14 now. Ooh, okay, yeah, it's day 14. Guys, we need to hurry. Uh, since it's day 14, the Horde Knight is coming. And if you're outside and we don't have a base yet. Well, at least we do have the base. But that doesn't mean anything. We need to get this done as soon as possible. Okay, this one is a pistol, so we'll just repair that one and sell it. Okay, let's quickly go to the trader and just hand this off. Or hand this in. Uh, I want to see if we can't do at least ooh, one or two more quests before Horde Knight. If we can do that and we can get some more rewards. Especially now, remember, we get double rewards from this trailer. So the more quests we can do before night time, the better. The next episode will be a Horde Knight, which means this episode is the last episode before Horde Knight. Which means it's the only time we have to just get a little bit more stuff in. I need more shotgun ammo, more 9 more ammo. At least we're using that mostly with Horde uh, like with Horde uh, No, no. The shotgun ammo and pistol ammo we are using with looting. So we don't have to worry too much about Horde Knights having that ammo. But if we run out of ammo, we need a supply of different ammo to use. Can't remember if I have been here or not. Uh, oh, can of tuna, there you go. Do, oh, do you have chili? I need to make sure constantly where there's chili and stuff because it's going to come in handy later. Okay, so steel axe level 5. Yes, thank you. This one. No, we don't ever use this one actually. Armor piercing rounds. That's just armor piercing. But during a ward night, that may actually come in handy. Although, we sell this 1.1 and then we can actually get more stuff. Is there any more jobs? It has to be close by, please. The closer, the better. 832. This seems like it's going to be still in town, but we have to I hurry then. Just the it's a church. Nice. It's not too difficult. Okay, so we have to get ourselves some shotgun ammo. And you don't have. I'm scrolling right now, but it's not scrolling. No. You don't have any gunpowder, anything. Stick of dynamite might actually come in handy later. But for now, let's just see. Uh, I want to keep this one. And mod this one, then sell it. Do this. I just need to make sure I don't accidentally click on something that I intended to keep. That would suck so much. Okay, uh, we have 6.5. What do you have over here? Please, please, please. Look, I should probably buy some more 7.62 ammo, especially since the Horde Knight is right upon us. But I want to make sure that we have some looting ammo first. 4,000. Damn. Okay, let's just first get some food over here. Can of tuna, can of chili. Yes. That's all the stuff we need for that class. The more we get it just like that, the better. I do need a chainsaw schematic. It would be awesome if we can actually find one of those now. That would be so cool. Okay. Um, some more 762 ammo. Pipe bombs. We're definitely going to use the pipe bombs this time. I'm not going to buy the Omer PC ones because we have pipe bombs. Although I need some exploding crossbow bolts. Those came in so handy during the last horde. If it wasn't for that, I think I would have died. Those of you new to the series, new to my channel... Um, this Horde Knight, or this series, has Horde Knight doing 150% damage. So yeah, you have to be super, super, super careful. If your base is too weak, they do double, well, almost double the damage that they usually do. So, <laughs> if your base is too weak, they're gonna crumble it like crazy. That's, at the mo that's why, at the moment, we're just making use of pure eyes to face the Hordes. And then as soon as we have space in the resource, well, we have the space, it's over here. But as soon as we have the resources, we can come and build over here in this opening, and then we should have a wood base. All this rainy weather. It's actually also a rainy weather here by me. So sometimes I don't know where the noise is coming from. Is it coming from the game, or is it coming from real life? Okay, I should probably do this quickly before I forget. Okay, so we're going to sell this. This one, let's see what's... This one's better. So modify. I need the one that actually reduces stamina usage as well. That's going to be cool. Okay, so we can put that one in there, put this one over here. Now, for Horde Knight. I just want to be able to come in here, grab stuff, start the Horde. We're going to take a 7.62, or AK rather. Take this one. No crossbow ball, so I can't even use, take the... Okay, so we're going to use this one. Do we have a Magnum? Pipe pistol. No, I could have sworn we had a Magnum, unless I sold it. Damn, John, that was really dumb. Okay, so, uh, pipe bombs, yes. And then, where's the other pipe bombs I just got? Did I already drop it and then try to grab it again? 
Okay, so Flaming Arrow is not going to really do that much damage at the moment. I need, like, really, really, really need to get myself some better stuff over here, guys. I need more ammo. If I, if I had some HD guns, I think we might actually have a different experience. So the big thing we need to work on right now is HD guns. Thank you. Do that. 29 more ammo. It's not much, but at least it's something. Okay, and then Horde Knights. I'm just going to make this the Horde Knight box. So I'm going to drop that in there. This is literally all the ammo and stuff we have. I really hope that the next um, reward from the trade is going to be really awesome. So this is Horde. Okay, let's do this. Really not a big fan of this weather already in this creepy game. I love this weather in real life. But in a creepy game like this, when you never know when something's going to attack you, I really don't like this weather. I could have sworn I had a, a loot drop mark that I never went for. Unless I went for it later. We need to make sure every time there's a loot drop, we go... Oh, hello. Every every time there's a loot, uh, loot drop, we have to go for it. Because you guys saw what the rewards were or the stuff inside. I, I got a whole stack of iron. Oh, which reminds me... What's up with all of these Undertakers? Damn. Which reminds me, if we see an iron vein somewhere, we need to go for it. I just need 300 more iron if we can keep progressing our bullet class. And the sooner we get ourselves like a proper HD auger, the sooner we can start doing stuff of our own. I'm trying to let this vulture catch up before I shoot it. I don't want to jump off and then there's all these zombies in the area before I... My third Undertaker. Can you believe it? Is there a wall I can jump on? Oh, no, 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 no. I need to be able to run away from it. Where's this vulture? It, it doesn't just give up on you this fast. This is the place I need to loot. So I'm going to wake up so many zombies now. Come on, come down to me. Come down to me. Is she just chilling there? What's happening? Should I just accept this quest and then run inside for safety? It doesn't seem like it's coming towards me. Okay, let's do this. He might have actually lost interest in me, which would be awesome. But I doubt it. As soon as he just sees me again, he's going to do some damage. So this is a... Fetch and clear quest. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, out of stamina. No, no. I need to be careful of this damn vulture. Yourself, John. Heal yourself, John. See, these zombies aren't even part of this place. The vultures. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. There you go, there you go, there you go. Undertaker, where are you? He's outside, right? All I need to do is stand up here and shoot him. And be careful that he doesn't jump up and knock me unconscious. Come on. I'm wasting all my shotgun ammo just for this one dude. Okay, there's a doggy over there. Oh, yeah, these guys count for the Psycho Class. We need to do that. We need to do this. Where's that doggy? Come on, doggy, show yourself. See, I can't afford to run away from you now. If I do, I'm screwed. Is that a bunny? The way it's moving is weird. I'm making so much noise right now that Feral Sins is picking me up. Nice, I just got a chicken. See, we need to clean this place out before Horde Knight, and at this stage, it doesn't feel like that's going to be possible. 
should just go downstairs and just bite the bullets. You know what? Let me just do this as well. Come on, where are you going? I can't afford to focus on zombies inside and outside. Okay, so we need to go down here. Let me just do this fast. I know there's resources, but now I can't afford to grab the resources. Ward Knight is upon us, and I just wasted so much time. Oh, this is a cave-in floor. But you guys know that, right? Because you're going to go up the stairs over there. And if you go up the stairs over here, it's much easier for me to kill you. Nice, just got both of them. If they're not feral, technically I should just hit them with a knife, but I don't have the time to waste on that right now. Okay, I'm just going to grab the books, because this might just give me the auger schematic, if I'm lucky. But other than the books, I don't think I should grab anything else right now. We don't have the time. It's been a while since I actually cleared this place. It is rather big, so I need to hurry. The longer you take with this, the more it's going to screw you over when it's Horde Knight. We don't have the time to just drive home and face the Horde uh, if we take too long over here. Come on, John, don't miss any books. If we can get lucky and just get that August schematic, that would be so epic, so amazing. Okay, so we have to go down more. I only have 56 shots left. If you can stand up in front of your friend or something. Damn, I have to waste that shot just now. See, if I take too many hits, that's bad. The best thing we think for me right now is just to shoot them. But these don't give you anything right now, these uh, caskets. Except blood. Later we might need the blood bags and stuff, but for now... Okay, can I actually break through of here? I don't know if I actually tried this before. Okay, so we go up over there. We go through over here. I think this is the first time I actually see this. I need to be so damn careful right now. If those if that dog gets too close and it's a fire dog or a radiator dog, it might just do too much damage to me. Come on. There you go. There you go. As long as it's more or less a headshot, it should do enough damage. Hello, hello, hello. Come this side. Nice. And stand up, stand up, stand up. Nice. See, I need to make sure that we save ammo by doing this. If I can actually do it right every now and then, we won't have to worry about clearing this place. At this stage, there's only 40 something shots left. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Hello, red face somewhere. I don't think I'm supposed to fall down, I'm supposed to go up. Yep, and the red face is getting bigger. The fire zombie. Hello? That's a really dumb zombie, although I think I'm supposed to go up there. Probably let them come to me. If I hear him break a door, I could just close this door down. I can't even do that. Okay, you can't break through there, so you have to find another way. Let's just go, 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 go. I think I have some TNT over here. So what I could do... No, I don't have the TNT. I dropped it.
Was he part of the kill quest just now? I doubt it. Okay, definitely zombies up top. Ooh, I want to be careful. I'm standing in such a way that they can hit me if they try. Oh, I almost just fell down. Hello, hello, hello. He's definitely gonna try and come for me, but this one first. I need to drop down on the edge, I think. Stand still. Only 18 shots left. That's not good. At all. Okay, kill all those zombies. At least they all spawned in already, so I just have to shoot and run. Check all the side rooms. Come on, run, 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 run. That's just a normal bag, normal backpack. I think that behind one of these doors is actually a... Oh, now I'm using all my first aid kits before the horde. But behind one of these doors is actually a few bookcases. We can go upstairs over there. Right. While we're here, we can just all try and lockpick the locks. So far, I'm running through this place. Now the problem is going to be the roof with those vultures. There's bound to be a radiated vulture, and that scares the hell out of me because they're the tough ones. I mean, if I can just throw a grenade in its face, voila, that's it. That's all we need. But the problem is actually not missing. If you miss, then you're screwed. A shotgun does damage, yes, but not fast enough. There was something weird of the texture of that wall, so we should have been able to actually get something in this wall, I think. This texture just seemed off for some reason. Anyways, let's go. Come on, any bookcases? That's messed up. Every single one of these bookcases are empty. And now we just have to go upstairs. There's no reading in this, uh, or no reading allowed, it seems, in this um, chapel. If I can crouch all the way through, I want to see where these damn vultures are. See right there. If I can hit it with a grenade, that's going to save me so much time. If I can actually throw a grenade up there with him, but I can't take that chance. If we could throw one up there, I could chain it, and that's definitely going to kill him. Okay, at least he didn't... Oh, he gave me the blood, blood flu again. What's with my luck? I keep getting this damn bird flu. Okay, it says find white... Oh, it's a f uh, fetch quest as well. No, 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 no. Whoops. Guys, if you don't want to take a chance over here, you can actually walk around. With this, I mean, we already killed all the zombies, so now all I have to do is get the loot over here. Okay, so it says the fetch quest is done. I mustn't forget about the fetch quest. Oh, this is actually stuck in the floor. Look at this. Weapons bag. It's so easy to miss that if you don't know that there's supposed to be something there. I thought, wow, this room feels so empty. What is that? What's that? What's that? Winchester. I need to see if I can't make myself an HD workbench. Like gun bench, ammo bench. Because so far I've been playing this like vanilla. We could have had so much more stuff already if I just played this a little bit more like Where's UK. Okay, so, lockpicks. Remember guys, we can use time charges, but in a small room like this, I don't want to take a chance. And I'll have to use six just to open this up. On a safe or something like that, it's actually more worth it. And a door. But if it's not a door or a safe, then this thing, the lockpicks are the way to go. Okay. Come on, give me something good. I need the, uh, the chainsaw schematic. I can find that. Oh, what was that? Okay, now I have to go down. It says, find the white river supplies. I'm checking the small minimap. I think it's right underneath me because it shows here and down. It's very close to my uh, mini bike, I think. That's why I can't see it from this angle. Oh, no, it says it's up here. Uh, it's down one floor. It is still down one floor, yeah.
It is still down. Oh, are you kidding me? It was right in the beginning. Getting down there now is going to be a problem. Uh, where did we come from? Where did we come from? That side. But I just need to jump down here, basically. Ooh, some loot. Out of stamina. Oh, there's this bird flu. I need to kill myself a bird flu before the horde starts. And then we need to make a ton of bird flu because at the moment we're just getting infected like crazy. Still says go down. It still says go down. I, don't, I couldn't remember there being another down over here. Okay, I should probably eat and drink something because at the moment we're getting way too low. Just make some space while I'm at it. Okay, so first things first. I think where we entered this place, that's where it's going to be. I didn't really go for any of the coffins and stuff outside because I didn't think that there was going to be any need. And we wanted to get away from that damn vulture as soon as possible. Still says down below, so it's going to be over here. Where is it? It's on that side. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Hidden with all of the coffins over here. If I can one-shot these blocks with my pick, that's going to be awesome. Because once again, it's a thing about stamina and saving time. I just think we were here. We actually climbed through this uh, window over here. I just didn't realize that we we're supposed to go through here anyways. Okay, now I just need to get out of here and go back to the base to drop stuff off and then to the trader to hand in. Unfortunately, since all of these quests are level 4, it seems it's going to be way more impossible getting everything done now. Uh, I think we go up over here. We need to find the floor that caved in. This one over here. And boom, we're out. Now I just need to find my bike. Please, no bosses. My stamina is so low that if a boss attacks you right now, I might actually literally die. Okay, so we need to turn around. Oh, I'm actually getting the chills right now. Just because that was actually very close. Uh, that vulture in the beginning attacked me while... I should have actually first killed the vulture and the zombies and stuff. Oh, this is a nice building. It's concrete. It's square. But it's on this side of town. I want to have it more, a little bit less... Less inside town. Less uh, bosses and stuff <laughs> coming for us right now. But yeah, guys, we need way more ammo, way more guns. Uh, I need to start playing this like Wiz UK. There's still so many HD workbenches and stuff that we can make. Ammo workbenches, gun workbenches. Um, I should probably see if we can't go for the... Is it the Psycho or the Gunman class? I don't know if there is a Gunman class uh, right now. But yeah, we need to go for that because then we need to make HD guns and kill zombies with those guns. And the more zombies you kill, the more, uh, the, well, it unlocks the next level, next level, next level. See, if I had a gun that could at least kill this guy. There's just so many of him just roaming around over here. I've had to waste way too much ammo just shooting the Undertakers, it's insane. It's a cop, right? Yes. There's way more cops and stuff all of a sudden about, I need to be careful. Especially since it is a horde day, we are going to have some really tough times ahead. I just hope the horde knight doesn't... Oh yeah, my stamina is messed up because of the vulture flu. Um, I just hope that the horde doesn't mess up my base trying to get to that base. They shouldn't sp uh, spawn here or close to here. But you never know. The HD textures are bugged again, it seems. Tools, tool parts. Ammo, parts, ammo... And then I should drop some horde loot over there. See, we have, we have a ton of weapons. Well, not really weapons. We have a ton of weapon parts. So if I can make myself some weapons, that might actually just be what we need. I need better weapons right now. For this one, I need to actually put a mod as well. It's just the one mod. So it's not really that great at the moment. Okay, so trader stuff. I'm literally just going to drop, drop, drop. You know, wait, 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 wait. This... And the cash, we can actually go sell. So why drop it? Stuff we can't combine it and can't sell it, I'll, I'll wait for that. I just hope we soon get some mods we can actually put on those uh, tools and weapons. The sooner we can, the better. Okay, so the armor, I want to sell it, but there's no mod for it. This one, I need to actually put on my clothing at the moment. We don't really have... 
what is this an hd armor plastic i think that's better than my current one hd armor plastic we have one there we don't have one here see the more armor we have on us as well the better this is just a plus one so we could do trader sell this one perhaps oh we have a magnum yes i knew we had a magnum so during horde night what we could also do is just use some 762 ammo or magnum ammo and that should help us out just a little bit i mean it's not the best of guns but it's something weapon mods we can put that one on there and then try and see if we can't fit the muzzle brake the lag right now is what's bothering me why or oh, why is it lagging this much oh this actually has place for three mods but at the moment we don't have other clothing mod well we do have this one we don't really have other clothing mods that we can put on i want to sell as much as possible Okay, let's go see what the trader has to say, and then I need to get back here and prepare for the Horde night. It's already 5 o'clock, which means the Horde is in 5 in-game hours, which sounds like a lot, but I still need to get back. Need to eat, drink, make sure my HP is full, and then just grab all my stuff, and head over to that base over there. And then I really need to start working. After the day 14 Horde, we need to start working on our actual Horde base. At the moment, I, I can't rely on these houses forever. But I need a design where they don't really do too much damage. Because at the moment, 150% block damage is a lot. I'm actually thinking of moving that down, but moving the overall speed of the zombies up a bit. I wonder how much damage they would have done to the other house if we only had it on 100% block damage. Okay, 14. Do you have anything for me? I think I've been here already. I don't know. I might have been here already. I can. Yeah, I should probably buy as well. We need the best of the best of the best. You did it. Great job, okay, steel boots Adler. we already have, but we can sell it if we, sell, uh, if we buy it. This one is 1,000. Yeah. Man, look at this. Level 6s. My boots already are level uh, 6, so I don't have to worry. After Horde Night, we can go and do... I don't want to worry about fetching something, so let's do this one. City Center. Ooh, so you just know that you made a ton of zombies. Okay, so this one is actually better than what we have on at the moment. But explosive resistance doesn't seem that great. So if we do this, modify. You click on this one, you go over this one. This one's weaker. So this one's the one we have to use. It's just barely, barely more, uh, stronger. But I mean, stronger is stronger. Also, I'm going to keep my crossbow, uh, compound crossbow for now because we do have crossbow bolts. And we might actually be able to use that during the horde night if we need to. This one, I'll keep it for now. I want to sell it for so much. If we just keep doing quests after Horde Night, we should be good to go. Automatic weapons, volume 2. We are going to use an auto... What does this do? Uh, uncontrolled burst. Sometimes in close corners, you might spray and pray. Fully automatic mode does 1% more damage until you miss. Okay, so that might be okay. Uh, this one, what does 10% more damage with 0.44 guns? See, we might want to use this one since we might use the Magnum. But we've already, I can now see we've already been here, unfortunately. So I have to wait until day 15 morning to see any new stuff. Um, also, I'm looking for the chainsaw schematic or a chainsaw. If we can buy the chainsaw, that, that actually solves our problem. But at the moment, we don't have the chainsaw uh, schematic, so we can't make the HD chainsaw. Pleasure okay. This rain in game it almost sounds like i said it's raining by me as well so it sounds like it's raining like in real life really really loudly okay, so we accepted a new quest we can actually take that off for now after horde night we can just activate it again um i wonder if i shouldn't drive around a bit and see if i can't find some iron before horde night let's quickly get the iron so that after horde night we can progress the boulder class a bit so if you guys like this episode please like and share with your friends uh comments and tips of feedback leave them below and if you guys are new to this channel please remember to hit the subscribe button for all this content See you guys next time for the Day 14 Horde. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.